We start with the Middle East Respiratory Syndrome or MERS outbreak in Korea, which we've been covering for more than two weeks now, as the number of deaths and confirmed patients continues to rise. For the details, let's go straight to Kim Jion, who joins us at the News Centre. Jion, what's the latest? Well, unfortunately, Mark, three more people died earlier today, bringing the MERS death toll in Korea to 19. Four more people have tested positive for the disease, bringing the total to 154 confirmed cases. One of the four lies in the southeastern city of Daegu, the first first case reported there, and another is a 39-year-old nurse in the city of Daejeon, the first medical worker to be infected there. She's believed to have contracted the virus after readjusting her face mask while administering CPR. Currently, 5,586 people have been placed under quarantine or are isolated in their homes, while more than 3,500 have been released. And among this, the Japan-based Kyoto News Agency reports, citing the health ministry here in Korea, that around 20 to 30 foreigners, including two Japanese nationals, have been isolated in their homes in Korea, but the two have returned to Japan on Monday. The two reportedly have left Korea before getting notice from Korean health authorities to stay in the country. And the Japanese government official says that the two nationals have been cleared of infection. And he adds, he or she adds that the Korea's standards for determining who should be placed in quarantine are much lower than Japan's. Well, Jion, it really is a wonder how those two managed to leave the country when they're supposed to be in their house under quarantine and uh, they could of course spread the virus to other countries such as Japan. Now as seen in this case you've just been talking about, foreigners in Korea are being affected now. How is the country dealing with this? Well, Mark, the government says it'll provide translation services for foreigners believed to have contracted the virus, starting with the Japanese language on Thursday. And also foreigners who live in Korea who have tested positive for the virus are now eligible to receive the same amount of medical and financial support from the government as Korean nationals. And meanwhile, the government decided decided Tuesday in a cabinet meeting to provide more than 45.2 million U.S. dollars to help eliminate the virus. The funds there will mostly be used for medical equipment as well as support for medical personnel and emergency service workers. Mark. And Gion, if there is some good news in this outbreak, it is that more than a dozen people have recovered after contracting MERS. Are we any closer to finding an effective treatment for the virus that could end this battle? Well, health authorities have injected an anti-serum comprised of antibodies and donated blood from a fully recovered MERS patient into two people with the virus who are currently in critical condition. But this procedure is, of course, a last resort since there's currently no cure or vaccine for the MERS virus. We'll have to wait and see if it will work. But this procedure may have a better chance among patients that were in the early stages of the disease, which is different from this case. Back to you, Mark.